Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a uh, Forex quick look at the dollar versus Swiss. So let's get started. What we notice here on the uh, chart is that uh, if you go back in time, you can see that the price is more uh, to the left, right to the downside. In trading last week, uh, more specifically on Thursday, the price fell below this trend line right through here. Uh, and uh, saw momentum take the price down to all the way down to around the 88.59 uh, level before uh, seeing some consolidation into Friday's trade. On Friday, the price uh, started to move back to the upside. Fed's Waller comments uh, helped to propel the U.S. dollar higher. And as you can see, this old trend line right here found support against it and uh, moved up to the 38.2 percent retracement the move down from this high to this low this is a trend move to the last trend move to the downside sellers leaned against that 38.2 percent retracement in early monday monday's trading as well pushed the price to the downside but when the price moved back above the 100 hour moving average that's the blue line in this chart last last uh, tested right here before moving to the downside the price uh, buyers uh, or the sellers turned to buyers and the push price back to the upside that uh, moved to the upside stalled ahead of uh, this low uh, going back to I guess that's around April 6th uh, also uh, stalled ahead of the 200 hour moving average that's a green line in this chart and rotated back to the downside and trading here today now uh, what the, what the rotation to the downside has done is it solidified the price in between the 100 hour moving average on the downside at 0 0.8940 on the 200 hour moving average on the top side at 0 0.8995 it looks like so uh there is a battle going on between the two moving averages we'll see how all that pans out uh you could uh, you can argue both ways in uh, this uh, uh on this move uh, we're above the 100 hour moving average that's something uh, good but we're below the 200 hour moving average that's something not so good and overall the uh, trend is this way to the downside so really the buyers have to prove themselves uh, they are trying to do it above the 100, but they need to get above the 38.2% retracement as well in order to give the buyers more confidence. Let's take a look at the euro versus uh, Swiss franc. It is a related instrument uh, and, of course, uh, one of the more uh, uh, traded Swiss pairs. And what we see here of, of note is um, some sloppiness, but the 200-day uh, moving average and the 100-hour moving average are converged at the 0 0.9827 level. And uh, if the price, uh, the current price is trading above that level after trading above and below it here in the early New York session. So if the price can stay above of that that uh, dual level right here then you can argue that despite the move to the downside there is some buying momentum or some reasons for the buyers to stay engaged and push the price higher if it is able to get above the 200 hour moving average last last traded above that level going back to this day around the april 4th time period then uh, that would increase the bullish bias also this uh, swing area through here swing low swing low swing low swing low swing low so a nice little floor right here got a little messy here before moving to the downside and using this level as resistance so uh getting above this uh swing area between the 0 0.9844 0 0.9851 and the rise and the falling 200 hour moving average would increase the bullish bias here in terms of these hearings, stay above it but the but hour. in order to do that the, uh, the price needs to stay above these two moving averages right here to keep the buyers in play so there you have a look at the dollar versus swiss and the euro versus swiss my name is greg mcclosky good fortune with your trading bye bye now